Hey there, welcome to a brand new episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in this week's vlog you will see my interview with Future Breeze about their classic Why Don't You Dance With Me. But before we start with the interview, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and very important, also make sure to click the bell button because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. Alright, here it is, the story behind Why Don't You Dance With Me, my interview with Future Breeze. Enjoy! In 1995, German producers Marcus Böhme and Martin Hensing started a project which they called Future Breeze. A year later, in 1996, the first Future Breeze release, Read My Lips, came out. During the years, they had hits with tracks such as Keep the Fire Burning, Temple of Dreams, Smile, Ocean of Eternity and many others. But their big breakthrough came in 1996, now 25 years ago, with the release of Why Don't You Dance With Me. Because of the 25th anniversary of Why Don't You Dance With Me, a brand new version of this classic just came out. Plus, Future Breeze recently welcomed Vincent Price as the third member of the group. A good reason to visit the guys in their studio in Essen and ask them about the story behind Why Don't You Dance With Me and more. My first question to them was, how old they were when they started to listen to music. Oh, uh, I was uh, eight years old. Eight years? Eight years. I listened to, to music uh, since I know, but I don't know which record uh, especially in this time. Uh, which I remember is more than talking. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> yes, that's true, I remember. Yeah. And for you? Um, not quite sure. The first record was a seven inch single, Xanadu. Xanadu. Yes, ah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. a little cheapy and, and, and uh, yes, it was Xanadu. <laughs> yeah, Xanadu. So, do, do you guys have a musical background? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I learned organ for three and a half years. Ah. Um, but you learned to play guitar. Yes, I tried. Later. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for you? Non uh, background, uh, except in uh, um, school. Yeah. Can you tell where and when did you guys uh, got to meet each other? Uh, we met us in school, 1986. 86? Yeah, yeah, 1986, and uh, we are friends yeah. since 1986. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I was born in Essen. Then my, my parents went to, to Hessen, Offenbach, and after three and a half years we came back, and, and when we came back, so we meet each other. I came in the class for Markus, and uh, this is so the first very, week. Very important story. That's yeah, this is really important. Important better. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a long time now. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so was it the plan from the start already to start making music together? Um, not really. Uh, not so, really. We were nerds. We, started, we are always nerds. We started with uh, <laughs> Commodore C64 uh, yeah. and with uh, Amiga. And uh, after school, we have uh, money to buy some synths. And um, that was uh, the start. That was the start. Yes, that yeah. was the start. Yeah, the start, the start was all the, 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 they love the music from, from the C64. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the sit sound. So this. We tried to produce them. There's, there was a well, not a soundtrack, but Amiga um, from, from from Chris Simon. Yeah, uh, I see. yeah. There was a, some, a similar pro program on C64, and we started with that yeah. to make our own little soundtracks. And later with the Amiga, and then comes the first end. Yeah, but it's a long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> In uh, 1995, you guys released the track uh, "Read My Lips," uh, which came out under the name Future Breeze. Um, how did you come up with the artist name Future Breeze? Oh, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting story. So, um, <laughs> I said before we were some nerds, so we love Star Trek, Star Wars, science yeah. fiction. So um, the idea was to, to, to use future, but we do, doesn't know the second word. So I took my directory, <laughs> my English, <laughs> threw through the page and Marcus says stop. And after, <laughs> and on the whole page I, I, I uh, scroll with my finger and Marcus said, oh, again, stop. And this was Breeze. Oh, wow. So, uh, so <laughs> it sounds quite cool. And uh, Future Breeze was born. Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's a good name. <laughs> so really not a big plan about them. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> no, no, really. 
So, uh, of course, future. <laughs> yeah. Of course, future. Very important. People. How about the reactions uh, on uh, and, and the feedback on Read My Lips? Oh. On Read My Lips, um, quite good. Yes, very good. Um, we have sold or sold um, more than 7,000 vinyls in one week. Oh wow! And this was amazing. Yeah. And um, yeah. So the reaction was very good. Yeah. 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 Sven Feld played. Oh really? Oh wow! Yes. Yeah. That was a good start. I, I still remember uh, Steve Mason on the, on the show. Steve Mason yeah. experience, who plays that a lot. So that was for me the, 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 um, the thing. I, I loved it because yeah. we listened to Steve Mason a lot of, uh, and then he played our singer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So a year later, in 1996, the track uh, Why Don't You Dance With Me came out. Uh, that's the one we're going to talk about in this interview. Uh, first things first, what do you remember from the production process of Why Don't You Dance With Me? Oh, <laughs> um, there's nothing, uh, not much to tell, of course. Um, it only took three or four hours. <laughs> that, that's the coolest uh, thing. The, the biggest things doesn't take time. Huh? It, 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 in German we say it flipped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you get in the flow, yeah, exactly. You know, and we needed uh, four hours to finish the complete track. Yeah, that was the, that's, that's the story behind it. There was no, not very difficult. It, uh, oh, only only th three uh, synthesizer. Yeah, yeah, three synthesizer, an Atari ST. Yes. <laughs> and the Mackie 604. Yeah. And what, what synthesizers did you use? Um, I used the uh, Ensonic ASR10 as a sampler and the Quark Wave Station, that's behind. Yep. And uh, for the chords, uh, uh, microwave, microwave one, one from Waldorf. Uh, and the Mackie for mixing. Yeah. Two, eff two effects units, then delay, one, one hall. That's all. That's yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. So um, where does the, the sample come from? Like the Why Don't You Dance With Me? Is it like a, like a vocalist or is it like a sample you took some, from so somewhere? It's a sample from the sample CD. Okay. Ah. So what did happen after the release of Why Don't You Dance With Me? Like like the radio, DJ support, charts? Uh, huge uh, radio support on Eins Live. It's a local radio station here in uh, NRW, also Northern Um Oh yes, heavy rotation. And I heard it the uh, first time at 6 a.m. in the morning. I uh, was on, on at work. and uh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, radio played and uh, Why Don't You Dance With Me played on the radio. And all the colleagues said to me or talked to me or asked me, uh, why are you here? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Play yeah. music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Must have been quite unreal to hear your track on the radio. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It really was real. amazing. Also, it's um, it was a big, big support from yeah. from this radio station yes, and yes. Uh, had, had Viva lot. Television, and uh, was also in Hilversum in the Netherlands yeah. in the TV. Yeah. Um, and all you go. Yeah, and how, how did it do in the charts, like here in Germany? In Germany it was uh, 14. 14. 14, 14, 14, yeah, 14. Okay. 14. Um, in Switzerland, 6. In Switzerland, 6. And in uh, Netherlands, top 10. No? Top 10. Top 10, yeah. or 6. So, yeah. so, or but UK, or UK only 50, yeah. I think. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. That's but also for the very first, uh, first big release, quite cool. <laughs> yeah, not, not bad, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so did you expect the track to be so successful? Uh, no, no, not really. No, yeah. not at all. Uh, um, Who can expect it? Yeah. That's no, um, not me. Mark Lomboy and Klaus Deris from 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 Le Petit Prince. This time they said. Um, it's quite could be goes up. Yeah. We, no, not yeah. really. You were, you were like, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> not me, not yeah. me. <laughs> so, but it, it, it goes, and and uh, after after all the time, I, I um, can't explain how it goes so yeah. up. Of course, maybe it only took three or four hours to produce. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's the trick. Yeah. The trick is the right track. Also. On the right time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is. Yeah, exactly. So, do you have any idea how many copies have been sold during the years? 
Also the last, the last uh, only in Germany or worldwide? Worldwide. The last number I, I know was 217. Yeah, okay. Teen from only in Germany. Short, short before golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in Germany. Yeah. But uh, I, we know we had uh, in Russia more than five billion copies. Billion, billion, yeah, copies. But illegal. Yeah, I was about to, <laughs> I, I was about to say pro probably not legal ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, when when did you guys start doing like music full time? Um, 1997. Cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, we do. Yeah. So yeah, the track is 25 years old now. Um, during the years, it has been remixed by names such as R&B, ATB, Andres C. Sequential One Alias, uh, The Clubheads, and Sharam J, for example. Uh, Why Don't You Dance With Me 2021 just came out. Um, what can you tell about this new version? Hmm. <laughs> the new it's version? Quite yeah. different. <laughs> it's quite different. <laughs> it's, quite different. Um, it's a new in, uh, uh, version because I, I uh, made it uh, as a little gift for my Twitch family, for my Sunday morning show on Twitch. And it's. Um, it started as a, as, a, as a little gift, not more. Yeah. So we both loved it yeah. from the very beginning and uh, uh, it's quite cool. It is uh, uh, on point now for that time. It's the right track. Yeah. Was it difficult to make a new version because the original is such a classic? Mm, uh, not really difficult, um, but uh, I don't have the um, vocals. <laughs> that was a difficult part. <laughs> this is the reason why it's an instrumental uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, reason, but we found the vocals. We found, oh, you found the vocals. Yes. Today we found the Maybe vocals. Maybe there will be a uh, vocal version yeah. in the near future. Ah, okay. No, it's it's, it's, it was not really difficult. I made it uh, on a Friday evening in three, four hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Tr tr tradition, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So are there any other plans for the 25th anniversary? Um, we are uh, still working on a new album mm -hmm. that will come out next year. Hopefully next year, yes. Yes. And um, maybe we make a new version of some other old yeah. stuff. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Let's, we'll let's see. Let's see what the future brings. Yes. yes. And like performing live or DJing? Or? Um, yes, uh, DJing. Um, it's a little bit difficult. It's Corona time, and um, aber, but uh, it will start next year. Yeah. So then we I can think hopefully there will, also. I think yeah. there will uh, some gigs. Yeah. And and all, the, all three of you are DJs. Yes, of course. So all, yeah. We all three are DJs. Yeah. So looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the highlight for you guys when it comes to the release of Why Don't You Dance with Me? For me, um, very first time um, um, of, on Viva Clap Rotation to play there. That was quite nice. Yeah. So we, we, we watched it a lot on, on, on TV before, and now I stand on this Bühne. Yeah, <laughs> on yeah. Stage. Like on stage. On stage. Yeah, on the stage. stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm standing now on the same stage. Yeah. And, <clears throat> that's and how, how, how old were you guys back then? 26? Uh, no, 20, 23. 23? Yes. <laughs> Uh, you was yes, I was 24, 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So long ago. A little, a little bit I, younger. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Marcus, you recently rebuilt your entire studio. Um, what's the main difference between your old studio and the new one? <laughs> I have a restroom now. <laughs> you have a restroom now. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, that's uh, different. Yeah, that's the main difference. Yeah. That's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the main. And, and very important. <laughs> very important. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, but but all, all you do, did all the proper uh, uh, damming now. Yeah, acoustics. Yeah, the yeah. Acoustics uh, are no on point. Um, yes, but. The restroom is, is more, more, <laughs> it's more important. More important. <laughs> so, uh, besides the new Future Breeze album, uh, what else are you guys working on right now? No, we are still working on some Sidekick Productions. Akus made his own singles, uh, and I produced some Vincent Price remixes for Fragma, uh, the latest Fragma single, and uh, I did a remix, a remake of a Jean Michel Jarre track. Ah. <laughs> now I must try to uh, clear the rights. Oh. Hopefully there will come a new Vincent Price singer. Yeah. 
Oh, and I think Martin uh, will produce his own yeah. track. So well, that is uh, Frank Aka um, Vincent Price, our new member since July this summer. New kid on the block. New kid on the block. <laughs> Yeah, but he's very old, proud about but it. But he's the oldest from us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the grandfather. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and I must say, I'm, 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 we are was phone, we phoned uh, three months, for a few weeks before I entered the crew, uh -huh. and uh, make the suggestion in fun to change Martin to a member of my old crew, and <laughs> I would come to Marcus to <laughs> to start uh, Future Breeze <laughs> from the beginning on new. Uh -huh. And then he said. Yeah, I'm thinking about it in a few weeks. <laughs> and I say, yeah, don't joke. Don't make a joke with me. Uh -huh. And I said, no, I, I, I want you in, in the crew. And it was a moment, wow. Uh, yeah. Now I lose bars. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you, you, guys know, proud of. You, you guys know each other for like a very long time already, I right? didn't expect it. Yeah, I didn't yeah, expect yeah. it. Yeah. We know us only, it's around about a year. Oh really? Yes. Oh, wow. Now goals, I'm goals, a member of this uh, posse. So wow, well, yeah. great. But it's, uh, it's uh, yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one year. Yeah. Okay. We are both uh, C65 and Amiga uh -huh. uh, 64 and Amiga yeah, freaks. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this is a perfect match. Yeah. Marcus is uh, m m um, in, in the studio, my partner at the moment. So this fits perfectly. Yeah. So well. yes. Yeah. Ah, cool. Is there still something on your bucket list, music-wise? Uh, for me, playing on uh, Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland, yeah. It, it's possible on the main stage, but yeah. uh, any stage, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> we played on Tomorrowland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only played uh, at Anamesia in 2016. Oh, Ibiza? Uh, season, yeah. Together with uh, Dimitri Vegas and like Mike oh, and yeah. Amit van Boer and Nico yeah. Romero. Yeah. But never play tomorrow then. Yeah. Yet, yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. 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 Fingers crossed. For you guys? Um, play Tomorrowland again. <laughs> play Tomorrowland again. Baruka will was Ultra. last year, but cancelled. Uh, yeah, because of Corona. Yeah. 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 For me, Coachella Festival. Oh, Coachella. Yeah. That would be a good one. Burning Man! Oh, Burning Man. Burning Man. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, lo lo I think it's, it's bigger than, <laughs> yeah, yeah, than yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, lots, lots of stuff on the bucket list. Then. <laughs> and the last question. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. Uh, definitely no. Definitely no. <laughs> it depends. Sober, never, ever. <laughs> Drunk, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for your time. And good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, that was it, this week's vlog, my interview with Future Breeze and the story behind Why Don't You Dance With Me. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below, and very important, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to click the bell button because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. Once again, thanks for watching, and until next time, Bye-bye.